Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use Clipchamp. Clipchamp is an amazing free video editor that you can use and I will show you step by step process how you can use it. So let's click here, try for free and we will start. So in the moment when you're going to have a Clipchamp here, you can sign with a Microsoft, Google, Facebook, Dropbox or email. I'm going to click email right here. I'm going to paste an email and name Marcus. Sign up. And now it's signing up, creating your account, and then you will get on sign into Clipchamp and log into Clipchamp. Now let's just wait until it loads. And now what sort of videos bring you to Clipchamp and you're going to choose if it's a content, business, corporate, personal or education. So let's say I'm going to click on the content, what kind of content creator I am. If you're going to have teacher, you will have different answers here. So let's say I'm an um, influencer. And voila, here you are. So straight away, this is pretty simple. You're going to have start with a template. You can choose YouTube, gaming, Instagram, many templates. You can record screen camera, camera screen. So what I can do, I can record my, let's say camera. We always need to allow our microphone on top left. So what you can do, we can go, but we will do everything here. But right before that, I want to show you that you would have in home, you would have videos in which you would have your own videos brand kit here you would have phones colors logos and template library you have all the templates that you can use and you're gonna see halloween tiktok celebrations uh youtube gaming like so much stuff that you can do so i just wanted to share that you get multiple options what you can achieve here so now let's say that i'm going to click with the template youtube and let's say this one here and use this template. You can choose like plenty of templates and I'm going to show you what you can do. So as you can see, we get the media. We have the gaming concept. It's this one, pink and blue neon gameplay. And you can always switch. I'm going to remove my camera now so I can give you the full experience here. And I'm going to show you what you can do. So the first thing uh, in media, we can upload our media by clicking plus here on the top left and we can upload our media. So let's say what I can do is to upload whatever recording we have. So let's say I have this recording and what I can do, I uploaded it and I can move, I can move it to my timeline right and as you can see we have another video here you can of course switch between multiple sections and you can overlay them see what i can do next i can also delete and uh, delete and increase and decrease the length of your sections so let's say I have this girl playing. So what I can do, I can trim it, see, and only then she appears. What I can do also is to make her bigger directly on my screen. So you see that right now I'm just clicking and making bigger and smaller. I can move it on my timeline where I want and I can split it right here. So when I'm going to click, let's say here, I can right click on it and click on split or press split button. So I'm going to click split. See? Uh, then this is what you can do. And now when I'm going to delete, here we are. Of course, in a moment when you're going to click on whatever you want, you're going to see on the on top, look at top layout, layout. Let me just show you something. 
you're going to have a layout. Then you're going to have transform. You can rotate it, flip it, change the opacity of it. Like, like she's here, I'm going to click transform and I can change the opacity. I can rotate it. I can flip it. You can have the filters here that you can add or change. You can even adjust colors. You can fade it, fade in, fade out, or you can increase or decrease the speed of uh, literally everything. So this is what you can do, and this is how you can do it. These basics are the most important that you can get by using ClipChamp. Now, of course, uh, you can then delete stuff like this. And that's pretty much it. Now, when we go further and we understand the media, if you can have any questions, guys, regards ClipChamp, definitely write down below in the comments. When we have the media, you would have video, audio, images. We know how to upload. We know how to uh, change the layout, picture in picture, or you can transport it, crop to fit, out of it, see? Now again, I can, I can again change that. I can add a filters, adjust colors, fade it or speed it to make it faster or slower. So in the moment, let's see that I have a girl here and I would click on it and I would go on the top on speed and I would click on a slow. In the moment when I clicked on a slow, the whole length of the video increased. Now, if I'm going normal, it's going to basics. So slow, you see it's like really slow right now. What I can do is to change speed to fast. And right now, look, the, it decreased the length. Of course, when you would mm, click on a timeline, guys, and you will hold control and scroll in and out, your whole timeline would go, would be smaller and bigger. So this is how you can work on your timeline. So that's what you can do. Now, when we go further, you can have the record and create. And this is pretty straightforward because you have options to record screen and camera, but you need to allow it on your computer. You can just uh, have camera recording here, screen recording or text to speech. Then when we go further on record and create, we're going to have templates. Now you have templates, as I mentioned, for multiple, uh, I would say segments. So let's say Pinterest. And then what you can do is like edit that and then download it and export it, right? So it's completely up to you for what you want to use ClipChamp. Now, when we go even further, the next thing are music and SFX. And now What I can do is, let's say I'm going to choose this one here and add it to timeline. Now, if I'm going to have it right here, you can really play around it with how much you want, right? So this is what you can do. You can also add a SFX. So let's say sci-fi plenty of music that you can do now so this is what you can do and how you can work with it uh, when we go further, <clears throat> you can have stock video. Of course, guys, you can upload your own music. That's what you can always do. Stock footage is like footage and many times you're going to see that you need to have upgraded version uh, to use it. But you see that like what works, what doesn't. Stock image. 
right here uh, you see that this is same as a video but images so let's say i can add this one here add to my timeline and I, as you can see we got it right here then we're gonna learn how we can simply add a text so again you see the title So we can add quick peek. Look at this. I'm going to delete this. And what I can do is to click on the top text and I can simply change a text here. So this is going to be how to use gun. And I can change the color. I can add a filters to it. If it's going to be blur, see, chromatic, aberration i can adjust the colors i can fade in fade out i can change the position of it right and i can increase the size of it so let's see how it looks like now so let's say i want to like unfiltered so now it's not going to be filtered how to use GAN. And this is how you can simply add a text. It's nothing like hard to understand what you can do. And that's pretty much it. You can, of course, right click on it. You can duplicate it. You can copy it. You can split it. Now, when we look on the graphics here, and we're going to see the white, black, etc. and filters and transitions you see the transition here so let's say we have this thing here and i can add a glitch reveal so in a moment when i click on transition i can simply add it here and this is how you can add transition right so but let's say that i don't going to do this thing this thing this thing and this thing and i'm just going to click on a split here and split here let's say that i want to add a glitch roll here right here and tiles these are the transitions that we have so let's say i'm going to see okay so now you see the transitions And this is how you can add it, right? So you're always going to see a transition. And you can change the transition or you can change the duration of the transition. See, this is how you can do it. And then you get a brand key that you can add a font. You can add the colors or logos here. So this is how you can pretty much use Clipchamp. It's nothing really difficult. Uh, the last step you need to do is go top right and click export. And Neon Gameplay Video Template. And to uh, have it, you need to have a premium version. And when you would come here to Clipchamp, you need to go to pricing. And you see the basics or the creator for $9 a month, you would have 720p. So that's pretty much it how we can do it. And you would have, of course, a link down below in the description for registering. And this is pretty much it how we can do it. So 480p continue. And now a Neon Gameplay Video Template. And what you can do, you can save it or share with other people.
and let's just wait until it loads and this is how we can pretty much export video so this was a clipchamp tutorial on how we can use clipchamp clipchamp beginner's guide i hope this video helped you somehow what you can do And yeah. So guys, have a great day. And here we go. This is exported video. Goodbye.